So you're looking forward to a stock Android based custom home based on Android 15. Android 15 is already here and we have a lot of alternatives available. And one of the alternatives right now I have installed and this is Genesis OS. Version is 4.0 official version based on Android 15 which is having the November security patch. And as expectedly, it, this custom room is just bringing you very stock Android kind of things. Literally stock Android. If you don't need those customizations, then you can try out Genesis OS on a device. If you take a look at the screenshot UI, let me show you if I click on this screenshot. As you can see, this is a bit different. We have edit, share and these kind of text options available a little bit tweaked as compared to normal stock Android. The volume panel is updated because we are using Android 15 in case you don't know because some of you are not aware of Android 15 based features. So because this, this is based on Android 15, so we have this new volume panel available as you can see. Another thing is Google Photos. Yes, that is a very good thing. That is basically an advantage that you get the unlimited Google Photos storage for your device. Google Photos unlimited backup and it works flawlessly without any issues. You should give it a try for sure because it brings you all the every features you need, I guess, because some of the spoofing options are already enabled. As expectedly, we have the new Pixel Weather app already included. Previously, it was exclusive to Pixel 9 series as far as I know at the starting of that. But after that, it is now supported for all the Pixel devices. So as in some of the custom rooms which are having all the Pixel goodies, same like with Genesis OS. So this app is pre-installed. You just have to update it from the Google Play Store to make it work perfectly fine. Also, in case you don't know, Android 15 also brings you some changes in the wallpaper and style section. So for example, if I try to apply this wallpaper, just for an example, as you can see, we have the new preview UI where you have these kind of options available. You can adjust the wallpaper according to your own preference. Also, including these kind of things, if you click on set wallpaper, you can see this new UI, which is not available with Android 14. These are not a major changes, but some of the minor tweaks, minor changes, but I just wanted to let you know. Another thing is if you are looking forward to circle to search, as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. In case circle to search is not working for you, what you can do is after installing the custom room, make sure to update your device, update your Google app from the Google Play Store. The circle to search in my case, it is working perfectly fine without having any issues. And I tried it uh, maybe three, four times again and again, and it was actually working fine. Another thing is the settings UI. The good thing is with Android 15, we have some changes with the settings. Even if this was not introduced with a stock Android, Android 15 stable version, but with Android 15 beta version, this thing was introduced. And most of the custom rooms are now adapting to this kind of settings. UI and personally speaking, it's quite better as compared to very simple, minimal settings app, which is already there from past few updates. Because it is having all the pixel exclusive features, all the stable features, we also have the adaptive sound option available, which simply improves the sound quality from your phone speaker. And yes, I'm not exactly sure if you want to use this thing or not, but if you want to, the option is available here for you. In the battery section, what I found right now is the missing option called as charging control. Some of the custom rooms brings you charging control, even some of the pixel specific custom rooms, but unfortunately charging control option is not present. So if you were looking forward to that, you have to miss it because it is not present in this case. If I move on to the gestures options, you will find swipe to screenshot, which is a very, very useful thing. It is present. It is working fine. Lift to check phone or other, other gestures in case you want to use. In my case, double tap to wake is not present. It's, it's not there, but it's could It could be a device specific. Maybe in your case, it is available. It would work for you. In my case, it is not. If I take a look at some security and privacy options, uh, you have similar kind of options present in this case. We have the support for face unlock. We have the uh, support for fingerprint unlock, of course. And definitely one of the things which is quite amazing with Android 15 is the private space. It is here. It is working fine as expectedly. You can set it up your, you can set up your primary account. You can set up your professional account or you can do so anything. Things are available here for you to do, to customize, to try out some more things with the help of private space. Private space simply brings you a new environment to setting up all the things, new account. I'm personally using that and felt quite good actually. Wait, one more thing if you're looking forward to is a Pixel Studio. In my case, it is not working as you can see. We can't verify your device. So yes, Pixel Studio, unfortunately not working. It works in some cases, it works in some of the custom rooms, but in this case, it's not working at all. 
So these were the things just wanted to let you know. If you want to try it out, link is there in the description. And hope you like this video. Make sure to drop a like and also make sure to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.